yesterday that he had good news for me today in his office. But what seems strange to me is that today is St. Valentine's Day. But what does he have to say to me that is so precious? Anyway, I'll know later. Come on, let's go my man. I'm off to work. Okay, my wife. Good day to you and may the Lord be with you. Okay, my man. Good day to you too. And may the Lord watch over you. Thanks, my wife. Lord, I'm putting my way back and forth in your hands. Come and drive this car with me so that nothing bad happens to me. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Hello, Salome. Are you well? Yes, I am well, boss. And you? Perfect. I am fine too. You can sit down. I wanted to see you because I had a good proposal for you. Oh yes? What is it about, boss? You know, since you joined our company, our turnover has increased drastically. I admire your work and your know-how. Really, your results are great. And honestly, you amazed me enormously as a woman. Thanks a lot, boss. That's why I considered increasing your salary by 50%. Wow. Thanks a lot, boss. I am so happy with this great news that you are giving me today. I would always do what was necessary to make you happy with my work. Okay, that works. I do not suspect it. Salome, you are a very good employee and you are very valuable to our business. Keep it up. You can dispose. Okay, boss. Thanks again for the increase. See you later. See you later, Salome. Oh, thank God for the pay increase. May your name be magnified and glorified. Amen. Oh, my husband, I have very good news to report. You know, my boss praised me for my work and increased my salary by 50%. Wow, what grace. Super Salome. I am so happy for you. May God be praised for that. Oh, thank you so much, my man. I am too happy for that, too. But do you know what seems a bit strange to me and why did he wait until Valentine's Day to tell me about this increase? Plus, lately, he kept complimenting me. But hey, we'll see later if it's really my work that makes him to increase my salary. Oh, yes. I really hope he's not going to make advances to you. In any case, time will tell us a little more about this generosity. I hope too. Hello Salome. I would like you to accompany me to the gala evening that I am organizing very soon with my friends. Because I think you are very intelligent and very lovely and I am sure that we will be a beautiful couple that day. Oh, sorry boss. I won't be able to because I'm already in a relationship and I'm a married woman. Me? I had already done my program and prepared everything in advance. And you? You come to turn everything upside down at the last minute. You just ruined my day like that, huh? Sorry boss, but you didn't tell me before you did your program. I am a married woman and it is out of the question for me to accompany you to a gala evening. Besides, I am a Christian. What do you have Salome? Why are you so sad? Oh Bernard, the unthinkable happened today. I could never imagine that my boss had a vouch for me. He absolutely wanted to take me to one of these gala evenings and get in a relationship with me. And I told him no that I couldn't because I was married. Oh yeah, definitely, he wants to go out with you. Now, they understand why he increased your salary and they also understand why he kept complimenting you for what you did. And yes, my husband. I told you, it seemed very strange to me. His behavior towards me? Yes, I see. You were absolutely right, Salome. You know Barnabé, since the incident that took place last time with my boss, he has completely changed with me at work. He no longer says hello to me. When he meets me in the morning, he doesn't calculate me at all. 
It was as if I no longer existed in the company. Sometimes he has meetings with my co-workers and I don't even get invited. He started criticizing me among my colleagues and making my life difficult. Frankly, I start to get stressed and anxious when I have to go to work. I think I'm going to resign because I won't be able to go on like this anymore. Oh yes, okay, my wife, I support you with you. You can resign because there is no point of working with a twinge in your stomach. Because I want you in full, in a good mood when you get home from work in the evening. Oh. Thank you very much my man. Thank you so much for your support. At least I can count on you. You're welcome my wife. It's normal, you are my other half. We were made for each other. Lord. Here I am in front of you this morning, out of work today. If I resigned from my old job, it was because I did not want to commit infidelity in my relationship. I am ready to respect your word no matter what. Please, Lord, help me find another, more lucrative job. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Oh my husband, I really want to do my job interview so much. I am sure that you will get caught up in this business. Because last night, I had a dream in which you found a wonderful job, more lucrative than the first. Oh yes. Glory be to God for this, and may the will of God be done in my life. Hello Salame, I hope you are well. I am very well. You know when I received your resume, I immediately told myself that you were the person I absolutely needed in my company. Your resume suits me perfectly and you have all the qualities and the level required to access this position of assistant director. So, you are higher. I have already prepared your contract directly. And if you agree, we can sign the contract. Thank you. I am ready to sign your contract. It's exactly what I wanted. I promise you that I will always do what is necessary to ensure that you are satisfied with my work. Salame. You seem very serious and convincing. Can I ask you a question if you don't mind? Oh thank you so much. Yes, you can. Do you have children and are you a Christian? I don't have children yet, but I am married and a Christian. Oh, that's good. I too am a Christian and I am married. Great. God be praised for that. Exactly Salome. I am so glad that I have found the person who will replace me when I am absent from the company that the name of the Lord be glorified for this. You can go sign your employment contract in the secretary's office. Okay, that works. Thank you very much for your trust. I have found favor in the eyes of Eternal my husband. The Lord gave me a new job. On top of that, my boss is a Christian. What more could I ask for? I am so happy. Oh may all glory and honor be given to our God forever and ever. The Lord is so powerful, so merciful, and so kind to his children who obey him. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for having answered my prayer and for granting me the desires of my heart. I will always be faithful to you until the end of my days. Thank you for this wonderful post and for this important compensation. Glory and honor to your name forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.